Welcome, Tiara Resource Circle members to our Tiara tool, the acceptance inquiry. Acceptance is a unique and important part of the Tiara model for true leadership. We link below in this email for easy reference if you want to check it out. And link below also you can find the Tiara tool itself that we are using uh, as fillable or printable PDF. So make sure you have it handy. And if you haven't, you can now pause this video and get it and also get a pen. Welcome back. <laughs> My name is uh, Andrea Henning and I am one of the Tiara global leaders and I'm recording this session from my home uh, in the Netherlands. So let's start with looking at acceptance, looking at what it is and what it's, um, what it's not. Um, acceptance is um, to begin with not a passive attitude where you just give up uh, taking action in important areas uh, of your life. It's also not to approve or condone your experience or circumstances, nor does it mean that you give up your personal responsibility for things. Mm -hmm. that, that, is, that is everything that it's not. What is it? Um, actually acceptance in the most simple way is our willingness to see things as they are, deeply, truthfully, and completely. And this attitude sets the stage for acting in the most potent and healthy way in our life. And um, no matter the circumstances, no matter what's, uh, what's happening around us. If we don't accept things as they are, we um, get stuck with our energy. And this inquiry can help you to uh, feel how you can unstuck this energy. And this is actually the goal. The goal is not to solve anything. So there's a beautiful experience uh, within really actually nothing has really changed, but you feel differently about it. So I hope that this inquiry will give you a chance to experience that. So um, let's get started and experience acceptance. And the way it's going to work is that I will ask you a question, then I will pause for a couple of seconds so that you can stop the video and take all the time you need to answer the question. And then you just uh, come back and we, uh, we continue. And the first step um, on your worksheet, on your Tiara, Tiara tool is uh, on page one, room for identifying a situation that you currently have trouble accepting. So write that down uh, on the Tiara tool. And just to give you a couple of examples, uh, maybe you have been burned out. Uh, you have been the experience of being uh, burned out this last uh, year or, um, that you have trouble accepting how things go with a coworker or your or your uh, your boss, or that you uh, really find it difficult to accept that you are working from home from home all the time. Whatever it is, uh, just pause the video now and think about a situation that you kind of feel resistance to be with. <clears throat> So now we go to the second page of the Tiara tool and you look at the facts of this situation. So identify what is so without um, adding in an opinion or judgment or story. This is actually um, not such an easy thing. What are really only the facts about the situations? Uh, if we just take the example about the burnout uh, that you might have just come out but not uh, uh, really accepting. The facts might be that you wake up several times at night uh, from your sleep. The facts might be that you start um, having worrying thoughts. The facts might be that um, um, your energy level uh, can drop down from one moment uh, or the other. So whatever it is for you, just stop the recording and write it down, what are actually the facts of the situation?
Okay. So now you look at that same situation and you investigate the thoughts. So you're in a dialogue. Uh, what is your uh, response in terms of the dialogue to that situation? So capture word for word um, pretty much exactly how the internal dialogue around the facts work. Yeah. So back to the example about the uh, the burnout. Uh, it could be a dialogue like, I need my sleep. I need to be rested uh, tomorrow uh, or whatever comes up. So capture it word for word. And then you have captured the words and you have cap cap captured the, the thoughts around the facts. So now be quiet just for a moment, take a deep breath and tap into how these thoughts make you feel. So when you think these thoughts, how do you feel? You feel excited, energized, or maybe sad or de depressed. So name the feelings. So in terms of the burnout, it might be feelings about fear, anxiety, that um, you will never get back to your old self or um, whatever it might be uh, that these fears of anxiety uh, are, or maybe uh, impatience, uh, uh, frustration. So tap into what actually are the feelings behind these thoughts. Okay, here you are again. <clears throat> so now I in you're in the feeling place. And um, now the next question is about actually, what might you be afraid of? So you, we are getting deeper into the fear uh, place. Um, so if you already have fear deciphered as um, a, um, a feeling, what might be the fear underneath the fear? Mm -hmm. And often what sometimes helps is to consider what is it that I'm defending uh, myself from? What am I shielding here? So just take it a step deeper, pause the video, go into it. What might you be afraid of? Hi. Yeah, we are going deep and we are even taking it one step deeper. So now, like again, take a deep breath. Look at your feelings here, look at your fear. And then if you're deeply honest, what else do you now admit about this situation? And be open to that something surprising might come up that you haven't thought about yet, but just being willing to be honest, to look into it as deep as possible, something might come up and don't force it, but just ask yourself the question, if I'm deeply, deeply honest, what is it that I have to admit about the situation? Mm -hmm. Pause and take all the time to contemplate that. Okay, I'm curious what you found. Getting back to the example about the burnout, it might be something that you have to admit to yourself that you never want to go back to the life before. What a huge revelation is that? If you have to admit to yourself, like, yeah, even if I'm, I will be back being my old self, my old energy level, 
I don't want to go back to the life before. And just imagine what a revelation that is, because at this moment, you might not have a solution. You might not have, okay, and now what? Hmm? So look at what came up for you when you were deeply, deeply honest and be with that, sit with that. Yeah. And just bear with me now, just by witnessing the facts in this way, witnessing the deep honesty. Can you feel a shift? Is there something that shifts for you? Just notice, just by sitting with it, just by observing it all, can you experience what acceptance can, can do? You might want to pause again and go to that place. Okay. Just through observation. Uh, there's nothing changed in the situation itself. And maybe you haven't felt the shift, then it's just good to go back and look at this, look at the facts, just start at the start again. Um, and if you have felt a shift, it might have to do with a sense of clarity. Um, and um, there is a relief, there's a part that is really relieved by clarity, even if you have not yet uh, found any solution at all. That is it. And of course you can repeat this exercise with um, uh, whatever situation comes to mind. I can really highly recommend it. Um, and um, just for now, I just wanna thank you for investing in yourself and your continued leadership development and follow the links included below to ask me a specific question of, about what you have experienced. We love to be in interaction with you and maybe share insights there. And um, yeah, maybe also share insights with fellow members and take your next uh, development step. Just for now, I um, wish you all the best and um, we can come back um, in another time in another inquiry. Bye.